Welcome to the Angerati studio here at ITRON Utility Week and uh, we did an interview earlier on with Dr. Michael Weber about uh, you know, his resourcefulness curriculum and uh, we're now joined by Kiana and Eddie and uh, you're at a, a, a quite a unique institution in terms of mm -hmm. the uh, 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 energy high school that you've got. Uh, you know, Eddie, tell us a little bit about you know, where you study and you know, what's different about it. Well, like you know, it's a lot different than a traditional high school because um, all of everything that we learn, we learn it on project-based learning. So the teachers give us a lot of freedom. And mm -hmm. since it is a STEM school, uh, our four classes, our course classes, are, it's based on engineering. And right now we're taking environmental science as well. And we always take uh, our English class too, which they always find a way to relate it to the engineering that yeah. we're doing and then um, history. So, so you learn how to speak engineering English rather than uh, English English. Yes. <laughs> right. Yes. So uh, Kiana, mm -hmm. uh, like from your point of view, as like going, uh, 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 do you get involved in uh, um, uh, Dr. Weber's courses? And oh is yeah. That coming in? Um, they showed us how to use his website and his app so we can get more like reliable information whenever we do present our projects. So we use that a lot whenever we were trying to do research and trying to just get more information about what is going on in the world. So tell me, uh, uh, you know, now that you are involved in this energy industry, I mean, one of the things that I always say is that the energy industry is doing a bit of a poor job in terms of promoting itself as uh, you uh -huh. know, uh, interesting, uh, sexy for want of a better word, <laughs> right? What, what are you saying, uh, uh, you know, what do you know now that you that you wish that this sector would be talking about a little bit more to, you know, attract more talent uh, into it? Because because we, we need all the bright young minds that we can get to solve the problems. It's just um, I think it's really interesting. I've always thought the energy in, like industry were, was fascinating to me, and especially being in Houston. Like we're main in the, we're like the main hotspot for petroleum engineering and just. We're right next to Galveston, which they do a lot of uh, oil digging. And our freshman field trip, we actually went over there to see how that was like. And I just feel like if something I wish I would have known is just that the relevance of how this is important for the world and important for us. It's just there's a lot of job uh, opportunities in the future. It's just that would be useful for young minds like us. And uh, what other things are you seeing that where you go, oh, I didn't know that this is part of the energy sector. I mean, you, you mentioned digging for oil, and, mm -hmm. you know, and that's pretty obvious seeing as we're in Houston. Yeah. But, but <laughs> you know, what's some of the non-obvious stuff that you found out about? Um, that there's like a lot of collaborative work going on. It's just like you're not isolated. You're working with a bunch of other team members as well to produce a good project. So, Eddie, do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, um, how, like she mentioned that when you work in the energy industry, you don't just work by yourself, you work in a team, mm -hmm. and you don't specifically need to study engineering for you to be in that engineering team. You can study anything and you can still be a part of it. So what are some of the things that uh, you know, you're, you're going through, uh, you know, exploring the sector? What are some of the things that are exciting you? personally, Eddie, in terms of, you know, you mentioned you don't have to be an engineer mm -hmm. to be in it. So, you know, what are some of the other things that you're maybe personally looking at and going, oh, hang on, this could be quite nice. Or, oh, I didn't know that this is part of the uh, sort of energy sector as well. Um, well, like you mentioned, uh, you don't um, have to specifically study engineering. So I um, in my mind, I was considering studying petroleum engineering since, how she mentioned, we're in Houston, yeah. um, which uh, it's a city that grew on engineering and petroleum. Yeah, you've got it like dripping around yeah. from everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and I was also <laughs> considering uh, what Dr. Weber studied, um, aerospace engineering, mm -hmm. which is also a big part of that because it transports and it's a part of everyday life even if we don't notice it. And uh, 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 from your perspective as well, because we are here at ITRON Utility Week, the, you know, the cubes kind of give it away. <laughs> uh, but uh, you, uh, 
you know, how important are you finding that sort of, you know, industrial involvement? Uh, industrial is probably the wrong word, but you know, companies like Itron getting involved, giving you exposure, gi gi giving you a sense of, uh, you know, do you find that valuable as uh, people who are studying this sector? Uh, yes, it's a great opportunity for us because we get a young start and we've had a lot of guest speakers at our school and they all tell us like we didn't know that we were going to get into this career and so we were already in college and we had already chosen our major and then halfway through it we realized that it wasn't for us and then our second option was engineering and which is where we are now. What about you? Um, yeah, just adding on to what Eddie was saying, like we have a lot of guest speakers speaking to us about how they didn't have this opportunity like we did. Like we get to get exposed to these professors, the engineers, scientists, and it just opens us to more ideas of what the real world is from real life people. We're not reading it off the internet. These are real people standing in front of us telling us their experience and something we can avoid or provide ourselves yeah. with. And, and tell me, because there, there is, um, a talent shortage uh, in this industry. There's, this industry is also moving and becoming much more IT centric, much more data centric. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, so it really needs to kind of lure the data scientists away from <laughs> the Googles and the Amazons of this world, because uh, heaven knows we need them here. Uh, but from your perspective, you know, uh, what would you like to see happen in, in the way that you want to learn? You know, when I was at university, I learned by blackboard or chalkboard, <laughs> for want of a better word. You know, a professor came in, probably didn't even say hello to the entire thing, started <laughs> writing equations and lifting the board up, you know. Uh -huh. But you aren't in that world, thankfully. No. <laughs> uh, good for you. Uh, but. What would you like to see? I mean, how, uh, uh, what sort of industrial involvement would you like to have happen? Um, I would say, like, hands-on learning, just trying to be exposed to what's actually going on so we can experience it for ourselves. Just, I would like to see that happen. And uh, Eddie, if, you, if, if anybody is watching this, I mean, mm -hmm. if you would say, do this for us, and then you'll get more talent into the, what, what would that be? Well, I would tell them that we're a high school that's based on energy, and we've been around this since day one, that we started freshman year, mm -hmm. and other schools aren't um, like our school. So if they could reach out to the other schools, to the other students that aren't in this environment, so they could get the same opportunities that we get. Yeah, I Anything mean. to add? I mean, we already are such a small school, but we're growing. When you say small, what's small? Because it's all relative, right? Yeah. We're in elementary school. Right. How many people? There's like 750. That's not small. <laughs> There's, it's small compared to other high schools okay. in Houston. Yeah. So, but we're growing. We're getting more attention. And I mean, I feel like being at this school is just already a good opportunity to exposing us to events like this. Yeah. So. Well, it's quite unique that you've got a high school that uh, is centered around the energy mm -hmm. space and, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and things like that, you know. So when you talk to your friends, I mean, do, do they think you guys are a bit weird, you know, going to this energy school or? We're different. You're different. <laughs> uh, when I tell my friends that don't go to the school about the things we do and the projects we do, the, um, they do think it's weird because they're te <laughs> they learn the way you learned with yeah. the teacher uh -huh. teaching them on the blackboard. Yeah. It's so traditional. Yeah. Yeah. It's like well, I think the message is that we need to change the way people get taught, but also it'd be kind of cool to replicate your high school in more places, yeah. Yeah. not just in the United States, but around the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Thanks very much for joining us. Thanks for bringing all of this to life. And uh, uh, you know, it's been a great interview. And uh, thanks as well for watching.